In six minutes, I will give you some musings on the growth of an artist's career. We often start out working for someone, and it's hard to make that jump to full-time for working for ourselves, or even working for one whole company as we go. And I don't really know what I want to do when I grow up. I don't want to ever grow up. And especially as an artist, what do we do once we get there? We can be an artist, but what happens next? How do we promote ourselves? How, like, get a promotion? How do we go from entry-level artist to manager-level artist? How do we start raising our prices? Sure, you can, you can start out at a company in entry-level and work your way up the ladder to be a CEO, but an artist isn't a traditional career like that. So how does an artist grow? And I think a lot of it has to do with getting awards, possibly degrees, and fame, basically. I think that helps a lot of artists know when to start raising their prices and getting to be well-known. They become more desirable and people want to get their stuff. And this is directly correlated, usually, with how good they are at their craft. While a lot of art judges are incredibly subjective, there is usually a reason why they pick someone to win. They hardly ever pick someone that's really bad at painting. There's a lot of good people out there, and it's the subjectivity that picks only a couple few. But you still need to be really good at what you do, and that comes with years and entering and trying and things like that. But what do I want to do on this artist's path? And there are so many art paths already carved out for you. You could be a book illustrator. Um, you could be hired by somebody. You could sell specific landscape things in a certain style. And a lot of these are paths already carved out. There's the being hired and promoted and become CEO. It, it's linear, almost. Artists' paths aren't quite as linear as that. And that's half the fun. We get to carve our own paths. We get to create our own projects and keep building on them and keep learning on them. So making your own books, making your own illustrations, making your own projects besides commissions or choosing what commissions you'll take, besides what you're hired to do, you get to choose your next step on your path to what you want to do. I don't know if there is, like, a top goal for an artist's career. What do you want to end up doing? You're doing it now. This, it's now that you're being an artist. Start doing what you love to do now. We don't have an end goal where we just arrive. And that's one of the other parts about being an artist is that you're an explorer. We don't have this timeline. We have a map. This isn't linear career, it's a very mushy career that has stepping stones and jumps and webs all across the spectrum, and that's half the fun. We have to experiment, we have to explore, and that's the only way that new art methods are created. They're not created by following the old traditional concepts. They're iterations through the years. New stuff is created by experimenting and not going linearly. That being said, you only get better at one thing by sticking with that very one thing. The jack of all trades, master of none. You're not going to invent anything new if you stick to the one, but you can get pretty darn good at that one thing. So a lot, some people need to choose. They really do. Some people are capable of it. I have to experiment. I don't know if I'll ever really invent something new, but I know I need to invent my own path, whether that's illustrating books and making products that people can purchase that support me. Maybe there's different needs out there that haven't been met yet with art, and I'm going to figure that out. That's how my art career is going to go. You're blazing your own path, and that's half the fun. And we'll see what happens when I do that. There's so many different outlets for visual things, or even not visual things. What if we worked with art for the blind? That seems like a really backwards, weird thing to do with visual art, but there are a lot of paths for that too. 
So for artists out there, if you find this little time-lapse painting that I'm doing, it's acrylic on a little 6x6 six six thing, it's not going to get done tonight. I know that. I just need to play and paint, and I haven't done that for a long time. Not my best work, not my finished one either. I like to let them sit for a little bit and do a lot of layers and glazing and repainting, which is the glory of acrylic. But if you think about your career path, where do you want to go? What do you want to be when you grow up? What, what goal can you carve out for yourself? Or do you want to work for a company that has a linear ladder that you're going to climb up? Um, even sketch out a map of where you've been with media and explorations. I would love an artist residency someday or more of them to experience other things and to inspire me and things like that. So what is your goal in a non-linear career? I'd love to hear about it. Please like and subscribe my channel for more art musings and time-lapse paintings and have a great afternoon.